Well, hours ago, thousands of canoers and kayakers paddled their way down the Ohio River. The 20th annual Ohio River Paddle Fest returned to the Tri-State today. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Adderley explains how the event will benefit local youth. Thank you. Okay. Come on, Ruby. <laughs> Look at the people around here. It's just so exciting. Everybody's happy to be outside and do this. Big smiles <laughs> and big cheers as thousands return to the Schmidt Recreation Complex to take part in the Ohio River Paddle Fest. Let's give it up. Thank you. All right. The event was canceled last year due to COVID-19. This year, participants could complete a nearly four and a half mile race to the Roebling or finish the full nine mile course. Organizers say 2,000 people launched off this boat ramp in things like kayaks, canoes, and stand-up paddle boards. This event draws people from all over the tri-state and all over the Midwest. It's a lot of fun. I love to kayak. And it's especially great on a morning like this when the river's empty. Smile, show us your doggy, show us your doggy. Paddlefest founder Brewster Rhodes says it's about more than bringing people together. This event benefits Adventure Crew, which is the nonprofit that works in 24 inner city high schools to get urban teens out into nature year round to fish, paddle, hike, camp, ski. Rhodes estimates the festival will raise more than $100,000 for that cause, which he says is about a quarter of the nonprofit's annual budget. The best part for paddlers taking part? A relaxing two or three hour float. Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.